Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sigval Grim here and we've got again to boss Darkseid but from the other account which does not have an entropy. So we're going to have a little bit of a problem, we're going to have to be inventive, we're going to have to do some power draining, we're going to have to do some uh, uh, infinite combo with Ghost Tap, uh, but we'll be fine, we'll do our best, we just have to be a little bit creative. But don't forget, if you do enjoy this video make sure you smash that subscribe button let's get into it. Okay, so we're already on our way with the King Pip, and this uh, Pip uh, has two parts. First of all, it's the part where we're going to uh, sacrifice Dr. Fate to the first super move, because we don't care that much about Dr. Fate, to be honest, in this strategy. And the second part is going to be uh, where uh, we're going to uh, do the infinite combo with the Tagans and Ghost Steps. But we'll get to that. So yeah, Dr. Fate is dead, unfortunate, but it was all planned. Don't, don't, don't be sad about him. And right now we're pushing Darkseid back to the corner, combo interrupting him like... Uh, at first, when I first time played it, after haven't uh, playing against him for a few months, he was a little bit hard to combo interrupt, but now he's easy to combo interrupt. And yeah, just pay attention because as far as I'm aware, I did zero mistakes in this fight for some reason. Yeah, surprising, as, uh, I know, I know, that's surprising. Coming from me, but yeah, I don't think I actually did any mistake in this fight. So yeah, we're going to ghost tap like you do your combos normally, but after a swipe right you're going to press a tap that makes Darkseid unable to use the super move on uh, you or the character that you get stacked in. But you need to keep up the combo, so that's why we're going to do a, a combo with King, then Shazam in into a small combo, special one, re-engaging with basic attacks into yet again a swipe right ghost tap into tagging in King. Going for another special tree in there, re-engage the combo. And we're going to just tag in Shazam to tank that super move because again, he's also not needed anymore so don't be sad about him, really don't be sad about him because it's the last minute and we're going to put the super move to work. So what this does is uh, allow us to kind of get up close and personal with Darkseid using King because right now he's going to have his super move disabled. Special tree in there, ring the combo. And yeah, right now we're just going to try our best to keep him pinned in the corner. By the way, if you're a little bit uh, shaky with the combo interruptions, you'll have uh, more trouble with the swipe downs when he does a swipe down because the animation is a little bit faster. But uh, for both of them, you should have no problems while after you get used to them. Thank you for a fat special tree in there. Re-engage the combo. A 3 million damage part special tree, though that was a pretty high combo one. I guess that's fine. I guess that I guess that's a fine amount of damage to deal. Another special tree on a sweet. 40 hit combo, it was higher than 40, but that's that's just uh, to the point where it actually matters. Again, this is not my best king, the king on the other is far better optimized, but this one will do as well. And yeah, I think the, literally the only mistake at this point in this fight was over here at the end I used a special 2 instead of a special 1, that would have dealt more damage in this scenario. But other than that, I think I actually managed to pull off over here a perfect fight. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this one. And yeah, the amount of damage is uh, actually pretty decent. Also. Now we're going to use the Just League team and uh, this uh, is going to be uh, by far one of the, uh, let's say, hardest teams to use here. Like, I'm using Just League Flash because uh, I'm poor and I don't have Just League Superman. But if you have Just League Superman, just replace Just League Flash with him. And uh, just Aquaman with Batman, obviously. But gameplay is going to be, gameplay wise, going to be the same thing. So over here we're going to basically power drain him with Cyborg. And uh, yeah, that, that looks easy, but the thing is in order to do this optimally, you need to constantly combo interrupt him. Combo interrupt him with Flash, combo interrupt him with Just League Cyborg, combo interrupt him after doing a special with Just League Cyborg. And the thing is, like, it, it all it goes very well, but the problem is, and this might be just a me problem, it, not by, it might not be a you problem, but I only have two gears on my Just League Cyborg. I don't know about you guys, but my Just League Cyborg is going to die if Darkseid farts in his general direction, so... One mistake is all it takes for this pip to go south. We can still revive one member with Aquaman if needed, but ideally we're not going to do that. Okay, so we managed to pull off the super move with Just League Flash, and uh, yeah, we're putting him back in the corner with special 2. Again, we're ghost tapping sometimes if needed in order to uh, tag in Cyborg if let's say he has like the super move ready and we need to tag in Cyborg, we do normal combo swipe right and the tap at the end so we can safely tag in Cyborg even though he has full uh, super move charged. 
And looking back on it, I think I could have done it a little bit better, like kept uh, Flash uh, for more, for a little bit of a more time back in. And I'm trying to figure out the optimal way to tag in and out in between those two dudes, as you can see over here. Like, I don't care about uh, who tags in uh, or uh, how they tag in because I don't have the old blade, so I don't need to worry about that. All I need to worry is that uh, my uh, uh, Just League Flash spends most time in the fight possible. Because that's what we want, because he deals the damage that Just League Cyborg does nothing but power drain. Okay, Just League Cyborg back in. Special 2 in there, power drained. Another special 2 in there, and yeah, I don't think if 2, I, I'm not sure if 2 special 2s were necessary there, but uh, I, I guess I, I'm still trying, like, this this went so far perfectly, and I guarantee you, it will go until the end perfectly in terms of combo interruptions, maybe the sequence of them could be better, but bruh, in terms of combo interruption, this fight went perfectly, like, if I didn't stream this, you guys wouldn't believe I was playing over here, if I didn't stream this, I wouldn't believe I played like this over here, I would be like, oh, where did I download this video from? Whose footage is this? But nah, it, it's your boy Sigvald actually playing this one perfectly. And uh, not, not bragging or anything, it's just me as well being surprised, as well as you guys might be. But yeah, I managed to squeeze in a special tree in there, and the total amount of damage is going to be... Oh, come on, this is live stream footage, by the way, so over here I was most likely talking to a stream, like flexing with how perfect this was. Yeah, should have cut this, actually. Nah, it's too late to cut it, turn 9 million. That's fine, that's fine. That, that's a decent amount of damage. Now, we're using the multiverse team, so we're going to use multiverse green arrow in order to power drain dark side. And yeah, that's that's pretty straightforward, am I right? We're going to still have flash in there to provide us with some uh, critical attack chance uh, and critical attack damage, and of course, reduction of the power bars. Boy, oh boy, he's such a good support for the multiverse team. But yeah, mainly this gameplay is very simple. We pretty much deal damage with Multiverse Armored Supergirl and tag uh, mul Multiverse Green Arrow and press special one when we need to power drain dark side. And yet again, I think I could have done a far better job in terms of sequences in between characters and uh, done that more optimally. I could have mustered the courage to always combo interrupt dark side after, especially with Multiverse Armor Supergirl. But yet again, haven't played this team against this specific fight in a very long time, so this is just the first pip, so I'm going to try to improve the way I'm playing it. By the way guys, do you think I'm going to be able to defeat this dark side until the uh, rise of uh, Dawn of Apocalypse event expires? Because if not, then he resets to full health and that's unfortunate. Let me know if you think, if you have faith that I'm going to be able to defeat this dark side until the event is over. But yeah, ring the combo. Yeah, the, the uh, huge downside, obviously, with the strategy is that Multiverse Armor Supergirl is not going to have pretty big combos to do a special tree on. And ca big combos for her special tree are kind of what makes her deal damage, unfortunately. Some teams, uh, something that we really do not have a problem with is Taggins. Because normally this would be a very clunky fight, but because of the fact that uh, she's able to have an unblockable tagging, it uh, makes this strategy possible. Like, if she didn't have an unblockable tagging, th this would, would have either not been possible or would have dealt half of the amount of damage, because it was simply unoptimal to play. And again, this is not a recommended team for Dark Side. let me get that straight. Ideally, you don't want to use this team at all. Like, I don't have a team to use instead of this one. But ideally, you don't want to use this team at all. But it, it's one of my top six teams on this account, so it's going to be used. So, yeah. Bad trip on that one. But uh, ideally, against Dark Side, you want to be in a situation where you don't have to use this. Where you have choices, but... Most of us are most likely very far away from that point. Another special tree in there. Back in golf, ring the combo. Another special one in there. And over here I'll take flash and play my uh, wild card, let's say. Like I kept that flash in the in the back of the team alive because I knew that at some point I'll need to do a special one with Multiverse Armor Supergirl so that the burning effect on Dark Side does not expire and at the same time uh, while doing that I will risk uh, a super move being done on Green Arrow or something. So yeah, Green Arrow here will be allowed to tank that so Multiverse Armor Supergirl gets back in for one more special tree 
And yeah, this was not the most pleasant experience in the world. 18.5 million. Yeah, we could have done... Actually, I'm not sure if we could have done better with this team, but yeah. There, there are better teams to play over here, but yeah. The uh, Power Girl is going to be here. Only this once she's going to be here. Uh, usually she's with Silver Banshee, but Silver Banshee was used for some cleanup duty on Reverse Flash. Yeah, guys, I finally defeated him, so... Uh, she was not really needed in that team, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna save her up with uh, for Black Adam. And granted, Black Adam does not need Power Girl when you're playing him at, uh, like this. It's going to help a little bit. And maybe I would have done 2 million less damage with Black Adam without her. But yet again, she's not mandatory. And the the, pla the plan of this fight is just using Red Hood to extend the duration of the fight. And other than that, just straight up bullying Darkseid with Black Adam. Come on, interrupting him and using special trees after each and every combo. Like, if I didn't have Power Girl, most likely I would do two combos before a special tree. Over here, I can get away with doing only one combo into a special tree. But that combo is definitely worth doing because we deal some damage on basic attacks. Got some fast attack chance on him as well. And we're building combo to further increase our damage on the special. Yeah, this, is, this is going well. And I think this was uh, my most enjoyable fight so far against Darkseid. Yeah, Red Hood in here going to use the super move to extend the duration of the fight. Black Adam back in, straight into a combo interruption, special tree in there. Like yeah, granted Black Adam, though it will perform far better than the multiverse team over here, but this is a very specific fight. Though, but yeah, Black Adam is not one of the top 6 teams, neither for raids nor for soul raids. He's like in the top 10 damage dealers, let's say, he's, he's somewhere in the top 10. Maybe kinda close to the bottom of the top 10. But he's somewhere in the top 10 damage dealers, like in the whole of Injustice 2 Mobile, in my opinion, at the very least. You you could make the arguments for other characters making making it in there, but in fights like this is where he shines. In fights like this is where he really holds his own. Like he's very strong against combo interruptible fights in Dawn of Apocalypse Soul Raids. He he benefits from the firebox far more than you would think. He loves that gameplay, he loves to do combo interrupt, he loves to power steal. And when that is also a requirement of the fight, so you don't die and get your entire team wiped, well, that's just benefits over there, my friend. Black Adam is having a field day over here. In that special tree in there. And with some special trees, I think we get all the way to maybe 500k, not, I think even higher, 800k? Sometimes, like, you, you can add that to, uh, up yourself, I'm uh, too bad or too lazy to do, do mats at this point. Special tree in there, re-engage the combo. Another special tree in there. I don't think at any point in this entire fight we failed any combo. I don't know, guys, I really don't know what's wrong with me. Like, uh, as you know, one day previous I went drinking with the boys and... Uh, I uh, had, had a couple of beers, that might have messed up something in my brain, but I don't know why I'm playing this this well at this point. I honestly don't know, but hopefully I can keep this one up. Because I, I'm enjoying it far more than when I'm not playing well. Yeah, re-engage the combo over here, it's last seconds of the fight, one more special tree in. We're going to go for one more, come on, come on. There we go. And yeah, tried for one more, but it was too late, too late. But yeah. That's some pretty decent damage for Black Adam, let me tell you that. 35 million? Have you ever seen someone do 35 million with Black Adam anywhere? Most likely yes, because YouTube, but yeah. So this thing might look weird to you a little bit. So yeah, I do not have the Entropy. I do not have the Entropy, so... Uh, we can't normally use the Batman Ninja team. So we have to give uh, up somebody. Catwoman? Nope, she's the damage dealer. So the choice was between uh, Batman Jaguar Lagrad and Batman Jar Robin. I'm not 100% sure I made the right choice because uh, with Batman Jaguar Lagrad we're going to give up the power generation and the armor reduction, but with uh, Robin we're kind of giving up our uh, little attack damage boost and that's kind of the whole uh, the whole reason why, why this team deals damage. So yeah, I might try later today to swap around and like keep uh, Gorilla Grot instead of Robin. Now I'm not even sure at that point I'll be using Ace Green Arrow for this team. I might use it for Silver Banshee, but they perform well enough with it, so I might actually leave them with it and just keep Silver Banshee in for the uh, 
for the for like the first two minutes, like the the highest I've uh, managed to go with Silver Banshee without entropy. Granted, reverse flash uh, power steals the right way, and after that we let every character die save for Silver Banshee. I think it was uh, around uh, two minutes of the fight actually, so that's that's a pretty decent uh, time to survive with Silver Banshee. So we might just uh, survive with Soul Silver Banshee against Dark Side for the most part, and leave Ace Greenar with this team. And yet again, we're really hurting because we can't uh, generate power that fast because of the lack of lethal attack damage. And uh, that's an annoying fact for Ace Greenar as well because since uh, usually I use this guy with Dr. Fate and King, so over there it, the special one casts only uh, two power bars, and over here it casts four power bars, so that's, that's something you don't always expect, and that's certainly an inconvenience. Especially in our dire situation where we can lack means of power generation. And yeah, like, I'm not using special 2 anymore, as you can see, like, it would help with the lethal attack damage a little bit, but at this point, with this amount of energy and with this team, we can't really afford it, sadly. We can't really afford it. One more special tree in there, and right now we're going to start letting people die because it's the last seconds of the fight, there's no use of dragging it in longer. Somebody in my stream uh, asked me, uh, why don't I just use Batman Ninja Team and use the Immortality passive? As you can see, it doesn't work. I'm sorry to ruin your day, I'm sorry to ruin your expectations, but the Batman Ninja Immortality passive does not work here. Yeah, fat rip on that one. Yeah, with all being said, this concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you do like, comment, and subscribe. Sorry if you enjoyed this. It really helps a ton. Share this video with your league mates. And with all being said, I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.